Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can unarchive emails in Gmail. So here we are in my Gmail account and first of all I just want to show you that if I were to select one of these emails and then go up here to the downward facing arrow icon I could archive it and real quick I have an opportunity to unarchive it and that's using the undo feature here in Gmail. I know that uh, a lot of you probably already know that. You'll notice that if I click it there, it now says the action undone, and the email is now back in my inbox. So I did want to show that because that's a quick way, but I think a lot of you are looking for ways to unarchive emails that you've archived in the past. So in order to do that, I do want to explain archiving a little bit and just how Gmail works. So when we talk about Gmail, we really only have five folders, and that's the all mail folder, the sent, drafts, spam, and trash. And in terms of archiving, we really only have to worry about the all mail folder. So that makes it pretty simple. We're only dealing with one folder here. But then how is it all working? Well, the all mail folder is organized via labels, which means that the inbox is actually a label and not a folder. And therein lies the secret to archiving and unarchiving and how it all works. But let me show you and it might clear things up a little bit. So here we are back in my Gmail account and you'll notice that in the inbox there's no, I don't really see any labels on all these emails, right? It doesn't appear that they're labeled. However, if I click on the more drop down and I go to all mail, and I'm actually just going to move all mail up here so I can access it easier. If I go to the all mail folder, you'll notice that all of these emails have the inbox label, right? So we actually see the label in all mail even though we're not seeing it in the inbox. So if we go to the inbox, and we select this email and we go to archive it, it leaves our inbox, but if we go to all mail, it's right here and you'll notice that the main difference is that it lost its inbox label. Now in the good old days of Gmail, you used to be able to select an email and then go up here to the labels and add the inbox label. But I think Gmail realized that that was really confusing to people who came from email systems that use a lot of folders. So instead, they added this move to inbox button. And when you do that, you're essentially just re-adding the inbox label, as you can see right there. And when you go back to your inbox, there's the email. So that's the secret to unarchiving emails, is just to move them back into your inbox. So I can archive, you know, multiple emails, go to all mail. You'll notice these are the ones that are archived because they don't have the inbox tag. So I could just, you know, select them all at once, and I could move them back to my inbox. Now, one other thing is that, you know, this is really easy if I just archived it within the last day or two. If you archived something, you know, weeks ago and you're looking for it, your best bet is going to be to search for it. So if I were to search for like, um, we'll just say like YouTube, we'll just search for terms of service because that way it'll only show me a few emails, right? And so I have this one that's from, a, you know, November 2021 and it's in my inbox right now, but maybe this wasn't and it was archived. So I could just search for terms of service and then I could find the email that I'm looking for, select it, and then hit the move to inbox button. And now it is unarchived in a sense. Um, is essentially means that it now has the inbox label again. So when emails first hit your all mail folder, they automatically get that inbox label. As soon as you archive it, it removes the inbox label. If you've given an email other labels, so if I were to give this a, a new label, let's just call it, you know, test label and I hit create, you'll notice that here we have the label, we can see it here in the inbox, but then if I hit archive, the email is obviously gone from the inbox, but if I go to test label, the email is still there. So I think that's important to note that archiving, essentially all it does in the, the back end of things is remove the inbox label and only the inbox label. So to unarchive, you just need to re-add the inbox label or in Gmail, as they put it now, move to inbox. And you'll notice that, you know, when I'm on this label here, this email has actually been archived, it's not in my inbox. And confusingly enough, Gmail has a different way of moving it to the inbox. Instead of the move to inbox button, we do have to go to the move to, and they do a folder icon. Um, and you'll notice that we don't have that many options because there aren't that many folders in Gmail, but inbox is one of them. You'll notice it then gets the inbox label when we do that. So that's how we can add uh, an archived email that we're looking at via another label back to the inbox. You'll notice that here it is in the inbox and we see our other label as well. So I think once you understand how archiving works, then it's all about that inbox label. As soon as you get a new email in your account, it comes into the all mail folder with the inbox label. As soon as you archive it, it loses the inbox label. So to get it back in the inbox and unarchive it in a sense, you need to re-add that inbox label by either selecting to move to inbox or the move to drop down and then selecting inbox. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. 
And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.